isn't the prospect of that. Rekindled again for Super Smash Bros. for the Switch. So hype. What's up guys, HMK here once again, and you know what time it is. It's time to restart the hype, the hashtag Sora for Smash. You know, it wasn't able to be, it was, it wasn't able to be done, it wasn't able to get done last time for Smash Wii U and Smash 3DS, because of course, you know, Bayonetta won the Smash Ballot, but you know, even though we don't have an official Smash Ballot, we might get another Smash Ballot for this Smash Brothers, Currently untitled Super Smash Bros. 4 the Nintendo Switch that is coming out this year. Sora for Smash. Sora, I want my boy Sora in Super Smash Bros. It's finally time. The Nintendo Switch, the Wii U, we've gone past that. We got Cloud, Tetsuya Nomura, and Mr. Sakurai, the man himself, collaborated to get our boy Cloud in the game. So if they can work Cloud after everything Nintendo and Square Enix has been through, in the wars of Final Fantasy back with the N64 and PlayStation 1. They can make our boy Sora happen. And you know, the fact that Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo Switch, coming out 2018. You know what's coming out in 2018? That's right, Kingdom Hearts 3. Square Enix, Disney, this is too big, too good, too good of an opportunity to pass up for the chance to promote Kingdom Hearts 3 in the stellar, the most all-star jam-packed fighter of all time. You can't even argue that after Smash Wii U. Mario, Mega Man, Sonic, Pac-Man, Cloud, Bayonetta, Ryu. <laughs> it's wild. It's wild. The premier crossover fighting game, Super Smash Bros. Marvel vs. Capcom, mosey on over. That's right. Even if Kingdom Hearts 3 doesn't even come out for the Switch, it's a great way to promote the game. And it's too big of an opportunity to pass up. Smash Bros. wants awesome characters to be part of their franchise, their lineage. And you know, everyone's all like, but yeah, why would they promote a guy? Why would they promote something for a game that's coming out in their system? Hey, listen, we got Cloud in Super Smash Bros. Wii U, which is wild. You know, I feel that Cloud being in the game was the most surprising, wow, big thing of Smash Wii U. Moreover than Bayonetta winning the Smash Ballot. I'm like, Cloud, Cloud being in Smash, that's the most hype guest character in Smash. And Sora has the capacity to be one of those grand interests, those grand guest characters in Smash. But there is something a bit wonky for Sora for Smash that a lot of people have been bringing up, and that is, yes, the mouse in the house. Mr. Mickey Mouse, Mr. Disney, Disney Corporation itself. And this has to deal with Disney having rights over Sora's character. But, hey, it's not like Nintendo and Disney have bad blood. Disney has had a lot of games on Nintendo featuring Mickey Mouse and all these other Disney brand characters and some of that. And I don't, I don't wanna say their relationship is healthy, but I would say it's like a good casual competitive market but at the same time I understand why people are like whoa chill Disney ain't gonna do that because of course the Mario movie that's being made is being done by Illumination Studios the guys who make Minions and Despicable Me big competitor to Disney Mario movie made by them Disney's are like okay Okay, 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 or like like that. But, but, but Nintendo did, you know, have that good relationship with Disney when Record Ralph was being made, you know, giving out Bowser and all that good stuff. Even though they kind of stopped with the, like they, 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 they stopped at Mario and Luigi. But hey, you know, the fact that we did get, we did see some Nintendo characters in Record Ralph, uh, I feel that kind of, Gives us hope if this is really gonna be like, hey, now nah, that's nah, so, like we got rights to source character. No, C and D, you guys should know. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, Sora for Smash is some, and I'm not alone. There is a lot of people out there that want Sora for Smash. Some very big people, some not so big people, and they all want Sora for Smash. We like. This would be great. Sora has appeared 
on the Nintendo console before. Dream Drop Distance. Uh, technically, yeah, 358 over 2. And uh, Recode it, even though that's not the real Sora. And, of course, Rechain of Memories. It's crazy. Like, like Sora's been on Nintendo consoles. He, he's no... See, and can you imagine? I, I know, but, like, uh, like, why would they put in Sora if Disney has the ability to put in someone like Mickey? And I'm not gonna lie. Mickey in Smash would be super hype. Marvel's Mickey, but, you know, Disney, non-violence, don't do that. But, can you imagine... If they got the whole, like, you know, Sora would be Disney's representative and Cloud would be Square Enix's representative. Uh, mm, a little bit. Whatever. And can you imagine Kingdom Hearts based trophies and assist trophies? Mickey! Kingdom Hearts Mickey as an assist trophy. Riku as a trophy. Roxas as a trophy. Kyrie as a trophy. Mickey, Donald, and Goofy as trophies in Smash! Please. At what stage would it be? Easy. It could be one of five stages. Destiny Islands, uh, the which my uh, station to heart, the Keyblade Graveyard, uh, Radiant Garden, or uh, um, the world that never was. And can you imagine the music? And Yoko Shimura has worked on Nintendo games before. Can you imagine the music? All stars are aligning. They have legit are aligning. 2018, Kingdom Hearts 3, Super Smash Brothers. We the fact that we got Cloud last in the last Smash game. Sora being Disney's video game representative. Disney-based trophy. Mickey as an assist trophy. Finally we'll get Sora versus Link. Sora for Smash. Get the hashtag going. Tweet at Disney. Tweet at Square Enix. Tweet at Smash. Tweet at Circle. Tweet. And all that stuff. Use the hashtag Sora for Smash. The hype time is now. If there's no Smash ballot, do that stuff times 100. If there's a Smash ballot, do it times 100 and vote for Sora in Smash. And Disney, if you're watching, Disney Interactive Media or Disney. We want Sora for Smash. Will it kill you to put Sora in an awesome crossover fighting? You allowed Sora to be in World of Final Fantasy. But I mean, that's kind of like given to like, you know, like Final Fantasy, Disney, whatever. But! Just, just let it happen, bro. Just let it happen. We'll have Cloud as Square Enix's representative. And we'll have Sora as Disney's representative. Just, just let it happen. And how will they let it happen? By you guys making it happen. Sword for Smash, let's go! If you guys enjoyed the video, and if you're hyped for the prospect of Sword for Smash, and you're gonna use the hashtag, leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, favorite, share, all that good jazz, and most importantly, subscribe to HMK on YouTube for more awesome videos, Kingdom Hearts Smash and The Legend of Zelda. And if you wanna take a step further, consider sponsoring your boy here as well. So guys, until the next video, Smash, Kingdom Hearts, Legend of Zelda, I've been HMK. I'll check you guys out. So you haven't subscribed to HMK yet? Don't piss Xemnas off.